everyone, Sparklike here, and welcome to episode number six of the Yellow Generation. I hope you guys are excited for today's episode, and I hope everyone is having a lovely, lovely day. It is very hot here where I live. I am so excited for it to cool down a little bit. I'm just so sick of the hot weather, but I am excited to be sitting here playing some Sims. So in last episode, Daffodil went ahead and aged up into a young adult and she is currently in university now. I pretty much just started this episode right where I ended off with last episode. So she is like freshly enrolled into university and Mint is texting us. We love that. So a couple of goals for today's episode is I really, 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 really want to buy that observatory. I want to do that so, so bad. So that is my number one goal for today's episode. And then maybe another goal is to craft this cleaner bot that we have been trying to craft for a very long time now. I have no idea what it is and it just honestly intrigues me. So we have a lot of things to craft here, um, but hopefully we can craft all of these ingredients that we need so that we can make one of these cleaner bots. I just wanna see what it does. And then of course we are going to be going to our classes and doing our university schoolwork and all of that jazz. So if you are excited for today's episode, then definitely make sure that you are subscribed and that you show this video some love. But I'm gonna go ahead and have Daffodil fix these little like dew drop collectors. They break literally all the time and you don't even really notice that they break unless you specifically look at it and notice that it's broken. Daffodil currently has 851 simoleons saved towards her observatory. So she's really, really saving a lot of money for it. She's almost there. If you remember, it's 1,500 simoleons. So she's definitely making some progress towards it. It seems like she always gets this embarrassed moodlet, privacy invaded. Sims don't like having someone walk in on them, which is so weird because she didn't even like take a shower or use the restroom anytime soon. So I don't know how she got that. Um, I wonder if that's like kind of referring to her bedroom because Rose did just walk into her bedroom. So I wonder if she consider considers that like her privacy or something. That would be kind of cool, but she's angry because she's currently on her period. So I feel you, Daffodil. I feel you, girl. Oh my gosh, Vlad, we don't care. <laughs> I don't want to see you. So funny story during, um, it was a couple of episodes ago during Anna's funeral. And I got that clip of Rose hugging Mint. Vlad actually like pops right out of nowhere. I'll see if I can insert a clip here. I ended up just cutting it out because it kind of ruined the vibe, honestly. But if I can find that clip or access it easily, I'll go ahead and insert it here. It was pretty funny. But Daffodil has some classes tomorrow. She has three classes tomorrow. That's a lot of classes. She has this one logic class, this one robotics class, and then a handiness class. Seriously seems like so up her alley. I'm sure she's going to enjoy those classes so much. So she has those classes starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So maybe we should get ready for bed and probably tug into bed early so we can have a good first day of class. I'm excited for her to go. I do wish she could take those classes online, but I don't think that's an option. I don't know why for so long I thought it was going to be an option that we could take those classes online but I don't think it is. I think it's just you stay at home and then you have to actually go to your classes. That's how I did college whenever I attended college for the short amount of time that I did. I just stayed with my parents and I just drove to class every morning. I didn't stay in like a dorm or anything. Look at her climbing into her little loft bed. It's so cute and her pajamas are so cute as well. Oh yeah, so Daffodil has this one people person lifestyle. I honestly kind of just ignored it whenever she got it. I don't really know what it means. Let's see here. So it says that Sims living a people person lifestyle have an easier time building and maintaining a large friend group. Sometimes at the cost of connecting with those friends to acquire or maintain this lifestyle, a Sim should have four or more friends. That just doesn't sound like her at all. And then she has this one moodlet down here that says ignoring my network. Daffodil worked hard to become known as a people person. Then again, it doesn't really feel right. Maybe it's not so bad that she doesn't have enough friends to keep up with. Yeah, that doesn't sound like her at all. Um, I think there's a potion to get rid of that because I don't want that for her at all. Oh, lifestyle go poof potion. There we go. I know I had to do that for Mateo once upon a time. So I am going to have her drink that because... 
I don't care about that. I do not. I don't want that for her. There we go. So much better. And then I also saw this one other little rewards trait thing right here. Marketable. And I feel like could that be helpful for her and her little sculptures? Does that also apply to Plopsy? I'm honestly not sure, but it would be cool if it did. That would make sense. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it and just cross our fingers and hope that it also applies to Plopsy. Part of me feels like it probably won't, but it makes sense that it would because you're still selling the item, still selling something that you made. And it says that it is Daffodil's start of her term. Daffodil Abraham's university term begins today and will last for five weekdays. She should take a look at her class schedule and plan on when to do her homework and study when to eat and if there's any time left when to kick back and have some fun i mean honestly i feel like just university itself is fun and she doesn't really need to you know party and do the university like the typical university like rose did for example i don't know i say typical university but is there even like a typical university? props not but like i said in last episode i just wanted to remind you guys but i do have a mod that shortens university so it will only be for a couple of days it'll just be for five days and that's literally it and she'll be able to graduate from there um usually you need i can't remember how many credit hours it is i think it's like 12 credits that you need daffodil only needs four so it's definitely going to go by a lot faster for her and i also do have a mod as well that makes homework go by faster because i'm not here to literally have her do homework and go to class for her entire like first half of her young adulthood you know okay she's off to class so she is like obviously going to class so she's currently like sitting there in lecture um but it is what it is i feel like it's still better for her to stay at home than actually go and stay in a dorm oh and she's going to her other class now they were back-to-back -back classes oh and i should probably make her um take notes in class i didn't do that for her first class i kind of forgot see she has this embarrassment lit again from privacy invaded which is so interesting to me because no one invaded her privacy okay and then i think she has one more class in four hours so she has a little bit of time she also needs to start writing two papers do a presentation and then also take a final exam but i guess in the meantime i'll probably just have her do her homework until the next class starts she currently has four things listed on plopsy though unfortunately no one has been really buying anything i don't know why we can't really make our money goal if no one buys anything so fingers crossed that you know someone buys something so we can buy that observatory oh crap i forgot to make her take notes i don't know why i keep on forgetting that anyways she is back from school so i'm just gonna have her do some more homework probably get a head start on um those papers i mean i feel like it's kind of gonna be a bit of a repetitive episode so i'll pretty much just cut out all this super boring repetitive stuff and then she has one class tomorrow at 8 a.m but it's only one so that's not bad so today was obviously full of going to classes and homework but hopefully tomorrow she can do some of the stuff she enjoys doing and stuff that i want to do aka build that cleaner bot oh she just got the single and loving it lifestyle um, if you watch my Rags to Riches series, then Marjorie had that lifestyle, so I definitely know about that one a bit. Uh, so apparently she enjoys being single right now, though I hate to break it to you, Daffodil, you're not going to be single for long. Spoiler alert. Okay, well, that just happened. But spoiler alert, you're not going to be single forever. Um, though she just got zapped, which is so frustrating. I feel like she gets zapped way too much that she should not get zapped that easy and that often. But whatever, she's going to go ahead and tuck into bed and then we'll have class in the morning. And then hopefully, I don't know, we can start doing fun stuff like building robots and crafting sculptures and stuff. Someone just bought one of our sculptures, which is perfect. We have been waiting for that. So, ooh, it sells for 123 simoleons. That's awesome. And don't you worry, I'm writing this all down on my notepad. I have a little notepad on my phone with a yellow background that I've been writing this all down on. Okay, well, we have no time for eating a grilled cheese sandwich for breakfast. You gotta go to school, girl. 
School has started. Go, go, go. I feel like in the older... Okay, but first, let's look at this adorable outfit. She's so cute. She's so pretty. I feel like she probably doesn't even know, like, how pretty she is. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely know that she doesn't know how pretty she is but she's so gorgeous and she has no idea but i feel like in the older sims games the sims would leave like an hour before work slash school started so that they actually got to school or work on time but in the sims 4 they just leave literally like whenever it starts so whatever okay now we can eat that grilled cheese sandwich we are home from school um, oh, and then we gotta sell that thing on Plopsy. So that means we have like 900 simoleons. We are getting closer and closer. Oh my gosh, she got zapped again. Why does that keep on happening? That is so frustrating. <sighs> well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and let's craft one sculpture. I'm gonna craft one of these large sculptures because they'll sell for more. And then we can write a term paper. Ooh, she's on handiness level nine. She can now perform advanced upgrades on electronic object objects. She can also craft tubs on the woodworking table. Whoa, that's so cool. I had no idea that she was almost on level 10. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's almost Rose's tie. Make the most of these final days. So if you remember, I had Rose drink that potion to uh, make her, I guess, a super young elder, make this bar go all the way down. Um, but apparently she's about to die again. Like I said, elder lifespans are way, way too short. Like you can't even be old in The Sims. You're just gonna die right away. Um, so that's unfortunate. So I don't think I'm gonna have her drink that potion again. It says days, as in plural. So does that mean she's only gonna have, like, two or three days? Hopefully that doesn't mean that she's gonna die in, like, 24 hours. I think that it has to say that you need to get your affairs in order, and then that means that they're gonna die in, like, 24 hours. So now that daffodil is not seriously fried, I'm gonna go ahead and have her try to craft this mechanism again. But um, she just finished the rough draft of both of her term papers. So I feel like she's sitting pretty good. She also has to make this presentation. So that's another thing we have to do. And she just finished that mechanism. And now we need to make two computer chips. So let's go ahead and do that now. You've got this little daffodil. You don't have to get zapped. Don't you worry. You can build this computer chip just fine. Ooh, robotics level five. Daffodil can now craft a new utility or utility bot. The robotics workstation. The gardener bot helps maintain even the most unruly of gardens. That's so cool. She's just gonna have like all of these like robots around her house just doing all of the work for her. That's really, really cool though. And we're gonna craft another computer chip and then we can make it. I'm so excited. It's like her first real, real robot. So if you remember, this is her first like true real robot. It's just a little toy, it just talks. Uh, but that's her first little real robot that she built in high school. But this one's actually going to have more of a function and purpose. So I'm excited for that. If you've played with the robotics in The Sims 4, then I'm sure all of this is really boring for you. But I'm having so much fun with the robotics because I've never explored it in The Sims 4 at all. So that means we can go ahead and make one of these cleaner bots. We can make a Azure. Azure. <laughs> Azure, Azure Blue, so the lady on Google tells me. Azure. So Azure Blue, Minty Green, and then Sherbert Orange. I want to do the orange one because I feel like it matches Daffodil's vibe more. Though the Minty Green one is cute because, you know, Mint, and it was her grandma, and she loves her grandma. So maybe we'll do the Minty, no, I'm going to do the orange one. I'm going to go ahead and do the orange one. It is 1,500 simoleons. So that's as much as our observatory is. So um, we'll just say that Rose lent her the money to make this bot. It is going to clean Rose's house after all. So I don't see why Rose would be against it. It's just that the observatory is literally like this quote unquote eyesore in the middle of the yard. So I can see her reasoning behind that one. But here little Daffodil is crafting her little robot. Isn't she so cute? Her first real robot other than that little tiny one right there. This is so fun for her. She definitely looks like she's in her element right here. I just love this so much. Okay, well, she just got shocked again. I was going to try to take a cute screenshot of her building, but we just got this instead. So love that. So maybe we won't be finishing this robot today. Maybe that will be a tomorrow task because... 
she got zapped yet again. She's gonna end up dying from this. That's scary. Okay, well, taking a break on that, I guess we'll go ahead and start this presentation. She has smoke coming from her, but just this whole vibe right here is so daffodil. I love her room so, so much. Doesn't it look so cozy and so daffodil? And it just has so much meaning to us, which is cool. It's not just the random items. Um, like a lot of these posters, like that one right there, and then these right here were actually mints, and that was mints, and it has all of her little space things and just everything that she needs to keep herself occupied for who knows how long. And then we have class again tomorrow, obviously, but tomorrow is our long day. We have three classes tomorrow. Is that like the last of those classes? I feel like it is because it only lasts for two days on Tuesday and Thursday. So we've got to start like wrapping up these projects and stuff that we need to do because, you know, university is coming to an end for sure. It went by so fast. I feel like I haven't even been playing long at all. It'd be cool if we could get through university in today's episode or at least by next episode, she'll be graduating from university. So even if we need to do something off camera or in between episodes, then we can do that as well but I don't want to spend too long with her university because I'm so excited for her future. I'm just excited for her to start her career and her life outside of university. I'm just really pumped for that. But let's see if we can finish this cleaner bot before we have to go to class. It says she's about halfway done with it. So if she can just finish it before she gets zapped again, that would be fantastic. She has class in one hour. I don't feel like she's going to finish it in one hour, but we will for sure try. Nope, we did not finish it in one hour. That's okay. We will try to finish it today if she doesn't get zapped slash dies from it. So see, she has this privacy moodlet again. Like she did not get her privacy invaded. So I wonder if that's just a glitch or if it's actually because she is a loner and whenever anyone just kind of like peeks in on her life, she feels like someone is invading her privacy. I don't know. Oh, and she's just skipping class. Go to class. Go to class. Oh my gosh. No, don't skip it on the lecture. Go to class. What are you doing? Go, go, go. She's a little bit stressed coming back from class. I don't blame her. However, we're going to take care of her needs a little bit. And then she has one more class today. And then she's done for classes today. But we do really need to start working on that presentation. It's pretty much done. She just needs to revise it a little bit. And then also just edit those term papers. Um, and then maybe start studying for her final exam because it's Thursday. University is almost over. I know I have been going through this week really, really fast, but I mean, whenever your Sims are gone, it just goes by so fast. If your Sims are always home, then the days go by a little bit slower. And we only have two Sims right now and we're not really focusing on Rose too much. She just kind of goes to work every day and works her school day or works her work day and then she comes home and she plays on the laptop all day, so life is pretty chill for her at the moment. <laughs> Ooh, we just sold another little sculpture for 1,400 simoleons, so that means we have about 1,000 simoleons, and like I said, Rose literally earns a raise like every single day that she's at work. Again, not complaining, but just something to consider. We have a lot of money. We have about 100,000 simoleons. I mean, she is the national leader after all, so it makes sense that she would be wealthy, but she's definitely wealthy. So luckily, Daphne has never really had to worry about money, and I don't think she's ever, ever gonna have to worry about money. I mean, we got all of Mint and Mateo's money uh, whenever Mateo moved in, um, and then we're gonna get all of Rose's money. So, I mean, Daffodil is gonna be really well off for her whole life. She's never gonna have to worry about money at all, which is great for her. She definitely does have that advantage. So I guess that's cool. Ah, I keep on forgetting to take notes. I, it's gonna be my fault that she fails her classes. Okay, at least she had a good day at school, so I can't complain. Oh, and look, here's a little cherry. Let's go see how she's doing. Um, ask her about her day. See, she's embarrassed again i don't know why that keeps on happening but we just got 104 simoleons from plopsy so we are so close we have over a thousand simoleons now i don't think cherry likes us very much we didn't seem to really get along with her at the funeral but whatever oh what 
The cleaner bot's ready. It's been ready this whole time. Okay. It's excellent quality. That's cool. It says this utility bot helps keep any home clean and pristine. So it has a battery level, a durability, and then you can also upgrade it. So activate, view, we can name it. What should we name him? I'm going to name him Rufus. I don't know why, but I want to name him Rufus. So that is Rufus, our little cleaner bot. Uh, we can sell him, which is cool. We definitely won't, but we could. I wonder how much we would get for it. I guess, I don't know. We'll put it in the hallway. We'll put it in the hallway for now. Um, and let's go ahead and activate it oh wait put on workstation does he have to be on the workstation i don't know we're gonna figure this out together uh okay he is hovering and he is going around hmm i don't know if there's actually anything to be cleaned in the house so i don't know really how useful he can be but i mean he's going around doing his little like laser beam thingy so that's cool i guess i wonder if he can go up and down stairs or if he'll only stay on one floor don't know He's just been doing this this whole time, so uh, can we tell him to stop now? Because it doesn't really seem like he's doing much. And now Rufus is going in uh, Rose's room and is like scanning this plant. I don't really know exactly what is happening here. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's doing much. Let's just put him in our inventory. And whenever we have something to clean in the house... Then we can bring him back out and see if he can actually clean something up. But right now, he's kind of just being annoying. So far, not very impressed on Rufus. I'm just going to go ahead and have Daffodil do some homework. Uh, but really, main focus right now is our little paper. We really had to focus on that paper and also our presentation. Um, but we have this little plate here. So if we bring little Rufus back out, can he clean the plate? Oh, he's already like doing stuff by himself. So I don't really know what this, oh, where is he going? Oh, are you going to clean up the trash? I don't know what he's doing. He's just like flying around. Let me try to pick up the trash can and see if you like put the trash in the trash can. Okay, little Rufus, are you going to throw away the trash? Let's see if he does. In the meantime, we are going to work on this presentation while I watch little Rufus and see what he does. So far, not super impressed with Rufus, if I'm being completely honest, which is so sad because, you know, I was literally so excited about little Rufus. I was so excited about him. Okay, we're going to put him back in our inventory. I don't know. Wait, what is activate? So I set Rufus down and he just starts floating immediately. Like, why does he do that? I figured you would have to activate him. Rufus, what are you doing, bud? Well, apparently she can craft a fixer bot, which helps with repairs around the house um and then her presentation is perfect so we will have to go ahead and give that presentation probably today aka like friday it is one o'clock in the morning okay now it says deactivate but he still hasn't like picked up the trash i guess it's technically not on our lot but there's a plate right there i don't know what's going on we're just gonna let him fly around tonight Daffodil's gonna go ahead and tuck into bed and I'm just gonna see are you going to clean that plate up please do so if not then I am disappointed in you Ooh, okay we just sold our little lumberjack thingy so let's go ahead and shit that on Popsy for 131 simoleons that's perfect and she has one class today at 8 a.m just one class and literally rufus has just flown around outside all day long scanning things the trash is no longer there i didn't see him get it so i don't know if it just like despawned but it's technically not on our lot but the plate is still there and it's stinky as ever so rufus what are you doing bud oh he's just so cute isn't he isn't he just like the cute he's like a little pet that just like flies around like if you can make a robot pet i think i'd be happier with that other than Rufus, I'm sorry, bud. Love you, mean it, but I don't know. You're not that impressive. We now have a total of 1,209 simoleons. So we only need like 300 simoleons, though I don't think we're going to get it this episode. I know I was like, this is my main goal. This is what I want to do this episode. And I don't even think it's going to be able to happen because uh, this episode is already getting kind of long and we still have 300 simoleons to earn, which probably ne means we need about three more things to sell. And I don't think we're going to do that in this time, especially considering that I have one thing listed on Popsy right now. Okay. And then I went ahead and deactivated him and he just like sat here. So I don't know. 
I don't even know who you are. Why are you asking me this? So I don't know what was up with him being active whenever I said he was deactivated. I don't know. I don't understand you, Rufus. You're cute, but like, I don't know. Like, what are you? What do you do? Well, Daffodil had another good day of school. I'm probably gonna have her give her presentation right about now and then continue working on her term papers. However, like I said, I don't really wanna spend so many episodes on university because it is a little bit boring. However, I do want her to get that degree. So I'm probably gonna do that in between episodes. And of course, I'll catch you guys up on what I did in between episodes. Uh, but I am so excited for the next coming up episodes. Definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because it's gonna get so exciting. Um, just a little hint, Daffodil is going to find uh, a special someone and I'm so excited for that to happen. I've had her love life planned for a little while now and it's seriously going to be so cute. I just love it so much. But I am going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. It's getting pretty long. So thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, and if you are watching at this point in the video, then I appreciate more than you could ever know. Thank you so much for watching to this point in the video because I feel like most people just dip out. But if you're watching now, you're a real one and I appreciate you. But again, just thank you and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!